Reporting for Newsreel, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the White House. Blessed to be back here at the White House, the first time at the White House this year, 2023. I went up to the press secretary's office and spoke with their scheduler, Robert is his first name, and he refused to schedule my meeting with the press secretary. The press secretary has refused to respond to my emails regarding our uh, huge uh, Christian and Jewish audience concerns. She refuses to call upon me in the press meetings and to meet with me. This is a very serious issue for her, her to ignore over a billion people that identify as Christians in the world. For, to, for her to ignore Christian concerns is very serious. There's been many concerns about and very upsetting reports about the press secretary's refusal to call upon other reporters in the press room. A majority of reporters are being ignored by her as well. But very, as I mentioned, significant that she would ignore and the Biden administration would ignore the Christian concerns and Jewish concerns, specifically in light of our nation, America, being founded on Judeo-Christian principles, Judeo-Christian heritage. In addition, very alarming here at the White House that the Biden administration is supporting anti-Semitic organizations of the Palestinian Authority in violation of the Taylor Force Act that, that's regarding the, the pay for slave program, uh, the Biden administration funding the Palestinian Authority that rewards uh, the killing of Jews. And then also the funding of the anti-Semitic UN agency, UNRWA. Major issue overall, hypocrisy on several levels. Hypocrisy that the Biden administration would say that they oppose anti-Semitism, but yet they are funding it. Also hypocrisy of the Biden administration saying they oppose human rights violations, but yet they directly support killing babies in abortion and so much more. I did send to the White House Jonathan Kahn's warning to the White House, to the Biden administration, a call to repentance. I think with the background of what President Lincoln had to say in the middle of the Civil War, uh, that he, he called for national repentance. So these are very uh, troubling issues to deal with here at the White House. We have, we have National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan uh, being in Israel this month to uh, basically influence the current Netanyahu government, the Prime Minister and others there to accept the two-state plan of dividing Israel, that Palestinian state idea, which I would refer to as a delusion and in light of also the warning against that by the God of Israel in Joel chapter 3 verse 2 that states for God enters into judgment in the valley of Jehoshaphat the nations that divide up his land and also Genesis 12 3 there is a blessings for those that bless Abraham and his seed which is referring to Israel and curses for those that curse Israel and supporting a two-state solution dividing Israel is a form of cursing Israel. These are very upsetting issues when you think about the rise of anti-Semitism and the major human rights violations that the Biden administration is supporting. Now, I mentioned the condemnation by this Biden administration, but also many US, uh, UN nations that are condemning Israel for uh, the security minister of Netanyahu's government, Ben Gavir, being on the Temple Mount so uh, the U.S. and these U.N. nations condemning Israel for allowing this Jewish man to be on the, on, the, on the Temple Mount when he wasn't doing anything threatening whatsoever. He was just there, a member of the Knesset, um, the security minister, and he had a right to be there. There is a tremendous, as I mentioned before, hypocrisy on this matter. I want to remind people that the whole issue of Palestine is an invention of the Roman Emperor Hadrian and about 200, uh, 200 uh, AD or so. You can look him up on the internet for the exact date of the Roman Emperor Hadrian that in invented the word Palestine to insult the Jews and separate them from their land. So this being this an invention, there is no Palestinian group of people for they are either Jordanians or Arabs and uh, 
there is this, as I mentioned, a real assault on a Jewish heritage, and it, it needs to be laid to rest about what is really the history behind this word Palestine. There is a Jerusalem Post article about this issue of, of the invention of Palestine.